Thanks for listening to our lessons from our daily Bible reading. The lesson today is honor to whom honor is due. You know, how many times have we seen it? Your child, your grandchild, somebody walks in and says, look what I did. They show you a drawing, some little craft they've made. And, you know, it's an amazing thing to see them, to see that they can do so much. But, you know, as we get a little older, we face things a little bit bigger than just crafts and such. It's the manner of life we live, the things we're involved in, the things we do that matter in this life and actually for eternity. And one of the dangers is to uh, realize it's not I. It's not just me. In our reading on Friday in Psalm 124, 1 through 3, David said, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord was on our side when men rose against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. In other words, I could not have succeeded. Israel could not have succeeded. We would not have been able to accomplish this without the Lord on our side. The Apostle Paul in Romans the 13th chapter tells us that we are to give honor to whom honor is due. And our life needs to be such that we need and understand our reliance upon God. And we give him the glory. You know, the writer tells us in 1 Corinthians the 13th chapter that we give glory to him, whether we eat or drink. Whatsoever we do, we do all to the glory of God. We sing a song that says, uh, without him, without him, I could do nothing. Without him, I'd surely fall. Without him, I would be drifting like a, a ship without a sail. The second stanza says, without him, I would be dying. Without him, I'd be as enslaved. Without him, I would be hopeless. But with Jesus, thank God, I'm saved. The apostle Paul said in the Philippian letter, I can do all things through Christ. Philippians, the first chapter, he says, whether he lived or whether he died, it was unto Christ. Our whole life ought to be in a realization that, yes, we give honor to whom honor is due. And if we are children of God, if we have decided to follow him, we continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine after being baptized into Christ in Acts, the second chapter. But we do such that our life then is a glory to God, and we give him the honor. We need to be not childlike and look and go about prating about saying, look what I've done instead Look what I've done with God on my side. That's what the psalmist said. If the Lord had not been on our side, we, would, we wouldn't have done anything. But with him, all things are possible. But let's make sure that in our life, we give honor to whom honor is due. Thanks for listening. You have a good day. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.